Good afternoon, everyone. My name's Just McKinnon. I'm one of the core team members of Standby Task Force. I must just say one thing before I start. The pre-ICCM training yesterday, the talks were brilliant. Wow, their slides, amazing. And so many of mine you're actually going to see. Thank you, Esri. UN OCHA activated the DHN to perform a specific task during the Philippines. Standby Task Force led the activation, working with other members of the Digital Humanitarian Network. We met our objective. The objective was to gather relevant, actionable, situational awareness reports that first responders in OCHA could use. We harvested tweets with over 60 hashtags, thanks to Ada, Hemant, and G, who sadly can't be here. A few years ago, we would have only had tweets in the amount of hundreds. Over one million during six days of activation with just those 60 hashtags. We actually class this as big data. Even with the amount of volunteers we have, and even though the most amazing people you could ever meet, we wouldn't manage to pull situational reports of that quantity to be actionable. Welcome, micromappers. Please remember, though, micromappers is still in the testing phase at this time. It wasn't only created to provide excellent information quickly, it was to help the volunteers make crisis mapping easier. So the information, once it's harvested, is loaded on two different types of clickers. We have the image one, we have the text one. There are others available, but during testing, these are the ones we tried. People around the world went clicking mad. <laughs> From firemen sitting at work in their uniforms in Belgium, to someone in Mali with limited connectivity. Even my two-year-old granddaughter Sophie had a click. Hi Sophie, granny loves you. Straightforward, picture on screen is what you see. You define, is it not relevant? Is it mild damage? Is it severe? Click relevant button. They come in photos, video, text formats. Each picture or text goes through three different people. Once that information is verified that that is the same button that has been clicked, it then goes on to the next stage. It's downloaded onto a shared Google Doc. Yet again, inspiring volunteers who give much of their own time, categorized and geolocated them. These, if actionable and relevant, were then uploaded to two different maps, image and text. Thank you, Esri, GIS Corps, and all the other people that work with us. OCHA then had access to the information supplied. Once Standby Task Force had, Standby Task Force had completed this activation, all the data was shared. So every other community could use that to benefit their objectives for the Philippines. Final point, which I believe is one of the most important ones, volunteers. Shadrock very kindly mentioned it this morning as well. During the last week or so, many of us have been working rather hard. Our volunteers have probably been working a damn sight harder than us. This was one reason why we used micromappers yet again. We need to support our volunteers, each and every one of us. If we don't have volunteers, probably 50% in this room wouldn't be able to operate. So please, can I ask you two things? Firstly, send an email or an SMS to at least one of your volunteers and thank them for doing what you do and for who they are. And secondly, could I please just request you all to stand up and give the volunteers that are watching online a round of applause as a big thank you. Thank you.